Welcome to the Weekday Report for Monday, March 10th. I'm Liz Snyder. Here's a brief look at the news. A group of 12 will join the ranks of Kenosha firefighters after the Police and Fire Commission approved hiring them this morning. It's the biggest group hired at one time since 2001. A rash of retirements caused escalating overtime costs for the department. Chief John Thompson said hiring the new firefighters will get staffing levels up to par and reduce those overtime costs. More than 300 Boy Scouts from Kenosha, Racine, and Milwaukee counties earned merit badges during the fourth annual Merit Badge Tech Day Saturday. The all-day event gave boys training in seven badges. Most of the training was at Gateway Technical College Facilities and Kenosha Fire Station No. 4. Skiers and snowboarders took part in the U.S. Airbag Tour at Wilmot Mountain this weekend. They were able to practice tricks without hitting the ground. It was the second year the U.S. Airbag has visited Wilmot Mountain. Hundreds of student musicians participated in the district solo and ensemble music festival Saturday. The event is sanctioned by the Wisconsin School Music Association and features students singing and performing in instrumental solos, duets, trios, and small ensembles. Students at Roosevelt Elementary School have been centering their studies on Alaska's Iditarod dog sled race this month, and on Friday they got a glimpse of the real thing. Musher Tim Birch brought his sled dogs to visit the school and took a few lucky kids for a spin around the snowy schoolyard. In sports, it was another win for Wilmot's Panthers. Here's Jeremy Rees with the story. Wilmot secured its second consecutive WIAA Division II regional title with a 57-32 victory over Union Grove on Saturday night. In the first quarter, Sam Kirk buries a three-pointer. In the second quarter, Kerry Clements drives for a layup, triggering a three-point play. Clements scored a game-high 21 points. Top-seeded Wilmot will play third-seeded McFarland in a sectional semifinal Thursday night at Waukesha West. Jeremy Reeves, Kenosha News. Head coach Tim Bernero guided the Carthage women's basketball team to its third Sweet 16 appearance in five years Saturday as the Lady Reds defeated Hope College 72-67 in the second round of the NCAA Division III tournament. The ninth-ranked Carthage women will take on defending national champions and third-ranked DePaul University in a sectional semifinal at 6 p.m. Friday in Indiana. What's trending today? On Tuesday, the state Senate will take up a bill that would limit early voting to weekdays between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. Under existing law, early voting is allowed for the two full weeks before an election, ending on the Friday before the election. Should early voting be changed? Tell us on our Facebook page. Up next is Dave Marin with the Kenosha News Athletic Republic Athlete of the Week. A big performance in a big game. I'm Kenosha News Sports Editor David Marin with the Athletic Republic Kenosha News Athlete of the Week. Jimmy Gavin, number 21, scored a team-high 21 points as the Parkside men's basketball team secured a key 79-70 win over Missouri-St. Louis in a Great Lakes Valley Conference Tournament quarterfinal game on Friday. The transfer from Bradley also had five rebounds and three assists as the Rangers registered an important region win and essentially clinched an NCAA tournament berth. The next night, Gavin scored 20 points in a 90-78 setback to Bellarmine in a GLVC semifinal. Congratulations, Jimmy. The Athletic Republic Kenosha News Athlete of the Week. Thanks, Dave. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. The Public Safety and Welfare Committee is going to discuss a resolution that would urge the Police and Fire Commission to hold a hearing on fire chief allegations. Joe Ward will be at that meeting. And tonight, Governor Scott Walker will be at the Boys and Girls Club Awards Banquet here in Kenosha. Terry Flores will be there. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Liz Snyder with the Weekday Report.